Okay, you guys. So this live is for um, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so Scorpio, the overall energy for you guys is, okay, the Ten of Wands. So you guys may be burdened, okay, in the situation here. Something may be too heavy, okay, for you to actually go through the situation or whatever the case may be here. It's like too heavy to hold or too heavy to bear. Something like that here. So this is like a burden, some type of situation here that you're dealing with. Okay, we have this page of cups here. Yeah, so I kind of feel like it's definitely a burden here. And I and I feel like it has a lot to do with you expressing the way that you really truly feel about a certain situation. Or this is you expressing your emotions, okay, when it comes to a situation here. Something that's really bothering you here um, when it comes to this um, love connection that you're dealing with with somebody. Um, and you want to express the way that you feel, but I kind of feel like it's difficult for you to do that here. Yeah, the star card here, okay? So I kind of feel like you had really high hopes for this situation or this connection or something like that here. And I kind of feel like the reason why you're not... I kind of feel like you're holding your tongue. So I kind of feel like the reason why you ain't saying what it is that you want to say to this person or some shit like that here is because you may be feeling like you're going to hurt this person or something like that here. And I kind of feel like it's like... You hold them in high regards here, okay, like the star or whatever the case may be here. And you had a lot of hope for this situation. Hold up. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was. Go ahead and like the love, but yeah. It's like you have a lot of hope in this situation or you have a lot of hope when it comes to the situation. But it's just like a burden here. Like you're holding your tongue back when it comes to the situation here. I kind of feel like if you did get into an argument or you did like say some type of like something to somebody or something like that here. I kind of feel like you maybe want to apologize and heal the situation. But I just feel like you don't want to be like I'm kind of getting like you don't want to be like the bad guy in the situation. And say the shit that really need to be said because of the fact that you don't want to like hurt somebody or something like that here so you, i feel like you're not it's difficult for you to express what it is that you really want to express because you come off as like the healing energy in this relationship or the one that's always you know smoothing things over or the one that's always like coddling the situation and then now you have something difficult that you got to say and it's like you don't know if you should say it so you can have you can be dealing with a, um a, uh, um Aquarius or Scorpio Cancer Pisces or you can have these signs in your chart so the way that you're currently feeling about this person that you're thinking about dealing with here is the love is in reverse so you may feel like this relationship is on, is like on the rocks here or you just may be wanting to break up so this could be what the fuck you really want to say to this person or whatever the case may be here but you don't know how to say it or whatever the case may be because it's like <laughs> you may be wanting to break up with them or you know or something like that here and, and it's like it's really difficult for you to say it because you really like I'm getting like you don't really want to be seen as the bad guy. That's like the feeling that I'm kind of getting here. But it's like you more so like the nurturing, loving type of person in this relationship. So it's like it's like you try to. I mean, it's not like you're trying to sugarcoat it, or it's kind of like you're trying to like let this person down easily, easily, or something like that here. Um, but I kind of feel like you want to break up. Could be dealing with a Gemini that you want to break up with. Or you just want to take a break, okay, with this four source energy. So you may be wanting to split up or you may be wanting to take a break or something like that here to try to get your mind together here or something like that. Let me see. Okay, hold up. So we have this King of Pentacles energy here. Yeah, because I kind of feel like somebody is more focused on work or building money or getting Somebody's more focused on like stability, work, money, okay, business, or something like that here. Hold up. Business, work, fi um, finances, whatever the case may be here. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords here. And I kind of feel like that's some type of truthful communication that you need to be said, or some type of truthful communication that needs to be said here. And I kind of feel like it's going to hurt somebody. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's the kind of energy that I was picking up. Like, it's like it's this shit is difficult but you don't want to do it but it's like it got to be said or whatever the case may be here even though it's going to hurt okay um so like i said you may feel like you want to break up with this person or separate or have some type of space maybe so that you can focus on like yourself focus on building your finances 
Um, or you may feel like somebody is... How did this shit keep popping up? Okay. <clears throat> or you may be feeling like somebody is like more focused on money. Okay, money, work, and all that stuff, right? So I kind of feel like this, whatever this communication is that you have to speak or say to them is going to hurt. Okay, look how he fucking crying and shit. You feel me? It's going to hurt, but I feel like whatever it is, it needs to be said. Okay, and this has something to do with a separation. So you could be separating from... Uh, Earth sign, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, okay, or um, Gemini. Yeah, because somebody is lying, or somebody is lying about something here. Yeah, so you, this is your counterpart here. I don't know, like, this is whoever this is. This is your counterpart. So somebody is lying about somebody at work, or lying about something here. So you may feel like somebody is lying about money, lying about something that's going on at work. Okay, somebody is being real sneaky, okay, when it comes to, and it's another person that's involved here, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here, and somebody is like trying to, it's, okay, I don't know why this thing keep popping up on here. I think that's that damn filter. That should need to stop. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's like somebody is, it's like somebody is like lying about something here, like lying about what they're doing, about what they're doing at work, or lying about somebody at work, or this is somebody at work here or lying about what they're doing for work or some shit like that here. So I kind of feel like this is the reason why you may need a break or this is difficult or whatever the case may be here. But I kind of feel like, yeah. So this is a communi uh, a problem that you and this person needs to communicate or talk about here because somebody is truly lying, okay, about something here. Somebody feels like somebody is being lied to about somebody at work or something that they're doing for work. Okay, or some type of money or something like that here. But you two are coming out as counterparts, king and king, queen, king and queen of pentacles here. So y'all may be married or something, or you know, this may be a soulmate or something like that here. So let me see how they feel. So the way they feel about you here is the three of wands. So they definitely is planning something for the future here with you. So they definitely see some type of future here with you, or whatever the case may be here. This is just this is just them trying to like progress forward towards them planning for that future here yeah but we have this knight of wands energy but you guys may have stopped um they definitely seen the future here with you they was planning for this future here with you but things passionately just stopped between y'all so it's like y'all either stop fucking or y'all stop like flirting <laughs> y'all stop i feel like sex has stopped okay so i kind of feel like the intimacy had stopped or whatever the case may be here um I kind of like if this person was like in this in and out player type of energy here, I kind of like they willing to stop, okay, stop all the player type of energy or put away, I said put away, <laughs> okay, put away childish things, okay, um, but I kind of feel like whoever this is, it's like they see something here with you, a future here with you, and they willing to stop their player ways, okay, when it comes to you here, but I kind of feel like sex or intimacy had like stopped between y'all. So that's what I'm kind of feeling here. Or they, they strongly like, I kind of feel like this is like messing with them more, more so. Okay. Could be dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah. So we have this King of Swords energy here. So I kind of feel like they more inside that thought. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Okay, a, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but they more so in their thoughts here. They coming off as cold, or they feel like you coming off as cold. So that's how they feel with you. They want the future here with you. They want to plan here with you. But they feel like you coming off as cold. Okay, they feel like you not messing around with them no more. You ain't being passionate no more. You ain't as freaky as you used to be. Okay, <laughs> in the bedroom or some shit is going on like that here, and you coming off as being cold. Okay, and distant. That's how they feeling about you. So this how they this how they feeling about you. And you feel like they lying about somebody that they fucking with at work. Okay, you want them to tell you the truth about what the fuck is going on. Or whatever the case would be here. Or what's going on at this job. Or some shit like that here. <laughs> so yeah, they feel like you coming off as cold, distant, hard. Okay, like. Yeah, so we had the six of cups here. But I kind of feel like. They feel like you acting like this because of something that happened in the past, okay? You reminding them of somebody from that past or reminding them or this is how you used to act. So you acted like this for them to them before. Um, you did this to them before. Like you showed them this type of attitude or you showed them you could be this way before here, like in the past. I kind of feel like they want to reconcile or they want to come back into 
some type of reconciliation. So say if you being like cold and distant, whatever the case may be from them, they want you guys to come and reconcile with each other here. They think a lot about you. Okay, you always on their mind constantly here because they do see the three of wands with you. So they want they trying to plan some type of future here with you, but I kind of feel like you feeling cold and stuck and you not, you know, being intimate with them anymore or whatever the case may be here or you know, you 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 showing them that you're not interested in them no more. Y'all not having sex no more. Whatever the case may be here, and they it look like they want like some type of reconciled. Like they thinking about, they think about you a lot here, and I kind of feel like they want to reconcile this situation here. Yeah, this Ace of Cups energy. So they want Ace of Cups and then the Chariot at the bottom. So yeah, they want to move forward here. Okay, they want things to move forward, and they want a love opportunity here with you. Like I said, they want. Something here with you, but you want to break up with them or you just want to pause or break or something so you can focus on your money or finances or you feel like somebody is more so into money and finances so much that they don't, you know, it's just like you may feel like somebody is they more materialistic or they more so focused on finances or you feel like it's something that they lying about their work or their money or something. So you feel like it's something that they're not telling you here or something like that. But with this Ace of Cups and this um and this um chariot card here, it's like they definitely want a brand new beginning here with you, okay? And they want to move forward here with you. I don't I don't feel like they want to move away from you at all. Yeah, but I kind of feel like they may have a just a decision that they have to make here, or some type of choice, or some type of option, or something like that. They have to decide here, and I kind of feel like overall they feel very happy with you, okay? So in the past, we have this King of Wands energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, but somebody could have been um, a player, okay, in the past. I'm kind of getting somebody could have been in the porn industry too or like some type of entertainment industry or something dealing with like entertainment or something like that. Okay, so we have the emperor. Okay, so yeah, this could be the masculine energy in the situation. So we get somebody was in control. Somebody was on top here. This could be somebody who was a real director. Like somebody is in the entertainment business. They could be a director or something. Okay, or in a movie or directing a movie or something like that here. But this is somebody who was like in charge of something here, like the boss. So this is the reason why you feel like they lying about something at work or lying about how they get money or they more focused on work or something like that here. Something that's going on. But this is what I see in the past. Like somebody being a director here or somebody more so focused on that passion here. Being that work or whatever the case may be here. This is this masculine energy here. They could have definitely been a player for sure. Okay. It could be done for Aries or Aries or Sagittarius. Um, I don't know why I heard late nights at the office here or late nights at work. So they always had like late nights at the office or late nights at work, or something like that here, and then we have sad squirrels, so I kind of feel like they wasn't really happy in the past, whoever this emperor was, or you may not have been happy with this emperor in the past, that ways, or whatever the case may be here, okay, because they was coming off as a player here, I'm kind of getting, it was like non-committal, this could definitely be like somebody child's father, or somebody husband, or something like that here, that somebody wasn't like really happy with the way that they was moving or they just wasn't happy with the way the, the choices that this person was making at the time here. Yeah. Ten of swords. I kind of feel like this person was like betraying somebody here or whatever the case may be here. Yeah. So in the past, like you just wasn't happy with like this person's ways here. Yeah. The ace of pentacles is a reverse. I kind of feel like it wasn't a lot of opportunity for you guys to do a lot. You see what I'm saying? Because somebody was more so focused on like, <sighs> You know, somebody had a lot that they had on that plate here. Like, they was a boss, whatever the case may be here. I feel like this have a lot to do with work, okay? So, somebody didn't have... It was like a missed opportunity here with this person because they was always a player or they was always, like... They just had, like, other shit that they had going on or whatever the case may be here. And I kind of feel like somebody was just really upset with the, the way that, that shit was going with this person or the case may be here. But this ended up turning out to be a missed opportunity here. So I kind of feel like you guys didn't really get too much off the ground in the past. Like, it was just, like, unstable. It, it was just unstable. You see what I'm saying? So 
So my, it was waiting for an opportunity to arise. But we have this Ten of Swords that's coming out again. Yeah, so I kind of feel like this person could have betrayed you. Okay, like I said, things could have ended or whatever the case it may be because this person was, you know, um, they was more passionate on, you know, other stuff that they had going on. Yeah, they was more passionate on other things they had going on. And this is what the blockage was between the two of you guys and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so this was definitely the blockage here, okay? Um, that's the reason why, you know, the romance was blocked between y'all. Because somebody had other obligations and things like that here they was taking that took precedence over you or something. And this is how you feeling. You still feeling like uh, this person is like their work or something they got going on here. It's like... You may feel like they need to take a break or y'all may need to take a break or the shit, it just ain't working or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So this person can even be married or something like that here with this emperor energy. Okay. Um, and they could have been a player here. So we have Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. So the current energy between the two of you guys right now is the five of swords. So it's not no victor victorious moment. That's for sure. Okay, things don't seem, seem peachy keen or none of that in the situation between you and this person at all. Okay, so we have the four swords. Yeah, you guys have to be on the break right now. That's what I was saying. Like, you may want things to go on the break or you may be wanting to break up with this person. But yeah, things don't seem like it's going to turn into anything right now. It seems like there's no hope. Okay, it's like y'all at a break right now. It's like no communication things don't seem victorious yet because somebody is having a lot of fears and anxieties somebody is stressed out and worried okay yeah because somebody else had walked away or somebody was being emotionally distant okay yeah and ended this situation here with death somebody could be close to suicide i'm not even gonna fucking lie about this shit but somebody could be like on the verge like so fucking depressed that they be contemplating suicide please don't okay please So, this is stressing somebody out because somebody had walked away from this situation here, okay, and decided to end it, yeah, end this marriage or end this spiritual connection. So, somebody, then I say somebody could have been married here or something like that here. Somebody was definitely married or something here, but yeah, this is what's going on. They stressed out and worried and having a lot of anxiety because somebody had ended the situation and walked away from this marriage or walked away from this spiritual connection here, yeah, due to some type of manipulation in a third party. A manipulation of a third party here. So it was a third party here. Somebody was messing with somebody else. A married person or somebody that had children or somebody that had other obligations or something like that is going on. <laughs> so the potential outcome for you guys here is the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So things is definitely moving slow in the situation here. Okay, slow as a snail. So like I said, y'all want to break or y'all ain't really talking or some shit like that here. But things is moving slow. Okay, this is the potential outcome. Things is continuing to move slow. Things are going to continue to be stagnant here. But somebody is definitely watching. So whoever this masculine energy is or whoever this is, somebody has a lot of feelings or emotions here for the other person. And they're still watching. Okay, they're still watching and keeping an eye out. It could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, okay, or Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But somebody is still keeping an eye out or watching, okay, um watching the other person even though they're not coming forward or or even though things is being stagnant somebody is still like watching and seeing what the other person is doing here yeah seven of cups okay to say that somebody has other options and love or whatever the case may be here <laughs> page of swords this is what they're trying to find out if you have a lot of options and love if you fucking somebody else if you love no somebody else what is you doing okay because y'all ain't talking you see what i'm saying so this is what is going on here. <laughs> I can't make this shit up if I wanted to. Okay, this is what's going on here. And I kind of feel like you're going to be end up blocking this person. Okay, or whatever the case may be. Because this person is trying to get dig all into your shit. Okay, whatever this is. Like, they trying to dig all into the shit that you're trying to keep from them. Or whatever the case may be. You see what I'm saying? This person is real emotional too as well. Somebody is emotional. But yeah, I kind of feel like you need to protect your emotions here, or whatever the case may be here, with this person continue to be guarded, or whatever the case may be. They think that you're going to still stand here and hold it down. Like, this is what they want, or this is what they're trying to see, if you're still holding it down, or whatever the case may be here. If you mess still messing around with somebody else, or whatever the case may be here. They're just trying to find out what's going on, because they low-key trying to hold on to you. This is what's going on. They low key trying to hold on to you, like, but they have all this other shit they have going on that they not clean out, and it's just it's messy. Okay, messy, 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 messy mess. Okay, that's what it is, and I kind of 
feel like they want to communicate to you or whatever the case may be here. I kind of feel like they definitely want to communicate to you here. Um, but when they do communicate, they only going to come back and ask for some sex or something. This could be a Leo, but they're going to come back and say some freaky shit. Like, <laughs> I don't know. They're going to come back and say some freaky shit or it's going to be something along the lines of sex. Okay. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of feel like you put you invested a lot into the situation with this person, though, is what I see. I do see somebody invested a whole lot into the situation, but somebody just want to break up because I kind of feel like either you've been the third party or they, or you know that they have a third party. And I kind of feel like somebody is really not trying to get in the middle of that shit. Like, I kind of feel like somebody has been emotionally immature, like with this page of cups here. It's, this relationship is a burden at the top. You see what I'm saying? This is the overall energy because somebody has been emotionally immature, like... The fuck you don't know how to speak up for your emotions or say how you feel or whatever the fuck the case may be. Like, what is we still in high school? Okay, where we writing letters in the motherfucking thing that say, check me in the box. If you like me, yes or no, blah, blah, blah. Like, what? So, yeah, I kind of feel like, you know, you just have a lot of hope for the situation. You Somebody do, you do have a lot of hope for this situation, but at the end of the day, I feel like you have a lot that you want to say to this person about all this situation, but I kind of feel like you really hold back. You see what I'm saying? You hold back a lot because I kind of feel like you can really eat them up, okay, when you saying shit and really cut them down. And I feel like you just don't want to hurt their feelings, okay? That's pretty much what it is, you know what I'm saying? But somebody is still watching them, so they can still be watching you, even if y'all split up or y'all ain't talking or whatever. They still keeping tabs on you, watching you, trying to see if you're messing around with somebody, if you're fucking somebody, if you're loving on somebody else. That's pretty much what I see. So the additional message that I got here is a rich man. So yeah, somebody here has a lot of money. So this could be something else that's going on here. Like I said, somebody got a lot of money. Like I said, this person could have been messing around with a lot of people. I'm getting like they could have been in the entertainment industry or or something like that is going on. Okay. Or they could be focusing more on their job or their career or something like that here. But yeah, somebody here got a lot of money. Okay. And then we have the man with the love in the reverse. So I kind of feel like they could not give love at the moment here. So this is somebody who wasn't able to give you love. They could have been giving you money. They could have been hardly giving you time, but they definitely had no time to dick you down or whatever the case may be here when the time came. You see what I'm saying? But this is somebody who wasn't like all in. You see what I'm saying? Like they didn't give you all of themselves. You know, they only gave like a little bit and that's just crazy to me. But yeah, I kind of felt like, you know, this person wasn't ready to love at the situation. So this could be the reason why they left. And this is the reason why you guys could have broken up. So you guys could have been in a relationship, like I said. But they just wasn't ready to be in a relationship. Like, this is all this is in reverse. You see what I'm saying? They wasn't ready to give this rose to you and be a loyal, dedicated person. You know, they wasn't ready for all that because they were still in this in and out player type of energy. Okay? But I kind of feel like now they feel like they want to plan something for the future for you with. But now it's you cold on their asses because of the shit that they already did. So now you coming off as cold. So now they got to try to get you out of this cold energy or whatever the case may be here and still fix that way. So let's see if this person is going to fight for that. You see what I'm saying? It don't look like they're going to be doing too much, but it look like they're going to still be looking, okay, to see who you're fucking with. You see what I'm saying? So, so we had manifesting the one. So you could definitely be manifesting the one here or manifesting, you know, you, you're trying to manifest love or manifest the one. Like I said, you may have thought this person was the one or whatever the case may be. They may be the one, but I kind of feel like the way that the energy is moving is just like, you ain't really trying to be in the middle of all this. Like, you're trying to find somebody that's for you. Somebody that's going to give you that heart. Somebody that's going to do for you the way that you do for them. Not give you 10%, not give you 10 and you giving all the fucking um, 90%. Come on. <laughs> so, we have no need to worry. But they saying no need to stress out and worry in the situation. So, this could have been you who was stressing out and worrying in the situation about this connection here. Okay, um, about this connection ending or the way that this connection was moving or the fact that somebody had walked away from the situation and the way that the situation had changed or whatever the case may be here. This is only because this person's been manipulated by a third party here. This is this is why this is all going on because they had third party manipulations that's in that air. It could be family members, friends, people, other people that they're sleeping with or whatever the case may be here. But this is why this is going on. But this is actually stressing you out because, like I said, you could have been all in with them. You see what I'm saying? You love them a lot or whatever the case and be here and that's pretty much what was going on so we have um beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess equally so the qualities 
you don't like are also your own reflection. So I kind of feel like this person may be reflecting some things to you. So some of that negative qualities, maybe some things that you need to, it's re, being reflected back to you. Okay. And you just don't see that or something like that here. So I kind of feel like just be aware of the things that you are projecting out. Okay. So like I said, you could be really stressing out about this situation or whatever the case may be here. And it's not a source energy, stressing and worrying or whatever the case may be here. That's energy that you put, that you are putting out into the universe okay you're putting that out into the atmosphere and you know everything that you project everything that you think everything that you say things like that those things uh can affect like your you know what's going on in your life okay because that's just how shit is okay i don't know <laughs> that's all i can say that's just how it is okay i don't know y'all go ahead and like the live y'all and drop me some emojis so, yeah, that's just how it is, you know. I don't know, but, yeah, just watch, like, what you're projecting, what you're saying, and things like that here. So, we have, I asked my friends for advice when it comes to you. So, they can be asking their friends, like, for advice when it comes to you. So, yeah, they they aware of the fact that they, they so they are trying to work things out. Well, they're trying to figure out how can they work things out. How can they get you to not be so cold-hearted to them? How can they get you... To, you know, be maybe the way that you was when y'all first started connecting or whatever the case may be here. Okay. um, So they could be asking their friends for advice, you know, family members or different things like that. But these people that they asking for this advice, these people are manipulating them. So they're not giving them the right kind of advice. You see what I'm saying? Whoever this is, they asking for this advice here. This is either a fucking hater on them. Okay. They either hating on them or they want to fuck you. Okay. So that's what's going on here. And this is somebody, this is the third party. You see what I'm saying? That they asking advice for that's manipulating them. So they could be saying, yo, go ahead. You need to, uh, don't worry about her. Let her, let her go and, uh, let shorty go ahead and, you know, keep acting like that and you just go ahead and do this or whatever. Not knowing the fact is, is that that's not solving anything. That's just letting the situation prolong and, and, and play out or whatever without y'all communicating or saying what it is y'all to say or whatever the case may be here. Whatever they saying, the advice that they giving here, <laughs> that shit ain't working. And somebody is purposely giving them the wrong advice. Okay, that's pretty much what I'm saying. Okay, so they asking friends for advice. These people was not really their fucking friends. That's for certain. So we have self-massage. So you definitely could be needing to massage yourself. So you could be having like aches and pains like in your arms. These are like places that you can actually reach. So um, you may be having like aches and pains like in your shoulders here. And you make it actually really like reach it. Um, just sit down. Maybe while you like kicking back watching TV or whatever. Just go like this. Or something like that. Or you could be having like neck pains. Um, I'm getting like back. I'm getting like some type of like shoulder pain. Neck pain here. Um, and maybe even like something on the thigh, okay, or like around the, around like the hip thigh part portion or something like that. But this is like things that you can like self do. So if you have like pain in a certain area, you can actually like really self massage it here, or you can go get one of those massaging things that they got at Walmart. Like that should be doing wonders. Like I'm trying to tell you, y'all need to get one. <laughs> You already get one of the massages that you get from Walmart. I'm trying to tell you, they be hitting, okay? So, we have <laughs> only time will tell. So, yeah, only time will tell when it comes to the situation here. So, this is one of those type of situations where you have to give it time, okay? And let's see how it plays out and see what actually happens, you know? So, we have hugs, okay? So, yeah, you may be wanting, needing a lot of hugs, Okay, um, you may be needing a lot of hugs, okay, or you may just need to give up hugs. But I kind of feel like you just be needing a lot of hugs, not a love. You could be getting a lot of hugs, okay, or a lot of love at this time. Or this is just something that you actually need um, due to the fact that what's, like, really going on in the situation or whatever. So, yeah, um, I love when you, I love when we watch the sunrise together. So, you and this person could definitely be watching the sunrise or the sunset, okay. That could be something significant that... You guys do together or something like that here, okay? So we have trust God will provide all that you need. Yes. So trust that God is going to provide all that you need. And that's all you need to know. Put all your trust in God and you're going to be good to go, honey. Okay? And then we have whoever finds wisdom finds... Finds... 
Oh, finds life and <laughs> receives favor from the Lord. Okay, so whoever finds wisdom in this situation, okay, you're going to definitely find light. Okay, and you're going to find wisdom and favor. You're going to find favor within the Lord. So, you know, take heed to what's being said. Okay, or whatever the case may be here. Nine times out of ten, whatever I'm telling you right now, this is just double confirmation for you. Okay, this is already stuff that you already know. This is already things that you already been having an inkling about. You know, you just needed the whole full picture to be put together for you or some shit like that here. Okay, this is pretty much what it is. Or you just needed an idea to be bounced right back to you or some shit like that here. You see what I'm saying? So that you don't seem like you're going crazy or something like that. You feel me? So, we have... Uh, somebody with the initials of an S. We have somebody with the initials of a P. We have an N. An X. Um, somebody with a G. A W. Another S. So two S's can be significant here. Okay. Um, MS. So somebody can be a miss. Um, or a senior, a SR, so or a R, so somebody could be a senior here, okay. And then we have a JR, so yeah, a junior. So somebody could be a junior, or somebody could be a senior. So whoever this is, you can have a child by them, and they could be a junior, okay, or something like that here, okay. Or somebody initial with a J is significant. So we have a Scorpio moon, we have a Capricorn moon, a Gemini. A Sagittarius moon, a Leo moon, a Capricorn Venus, a Pisces, an Aquarius, a Libra moon, and an Aries is here. Okay. So hopefully y'all got something from this. Go ahead and like the live. Drop me some emojis. Okay. And I'll see y'all in the next live. Mm-hmm. <laughs>